Hey y'all, uh, hey. So, the next time you see me, I think I will be a blonde, an ash blonde. So, I've been blonde before. And I didn't like the last blonde that I was. Um, I never got to... Um, Oh, I don't want to ramble because so many people on YouTube ramble. I ramble. But anyways, next time you see me, I will be an ash blonde. I just, I love blonde hair. And I did love my last blonde, but it wasn't right. So, <laughs> don't pay any attention to my hair if it kind of eventually falls because I'm trying my best not to really show it. Because I'm getting ready for tomorrow. Okay, so... Chrysalis, right? Tonight, tonight's bed, tonight's um bedtime story. It's about a chrysalis. Um, you guys um know what that is, I'm pretty sure. So, of course, like I said before, bedtime stories are when you're just sitting around and you just getting your thoughts together and stuff and um. Tonight was just one of those nights. Tonight, I was actually just sitting down reflecting on my life. And I get a little down sometimes. And um, sometimes I'm reflecting over my life. I'm not always down. But I know that I'm at this point of my life where I'm fighting so much. And I already made another video the other day talking about this. And... Uh, hopefully I remember to upload it first because then this will make more sense because I don't want to be repeating myself but um, tonight uh, I was just sitting here in meditation and asking myself a lot of things and uh, talking to our creator talking to Yahweh about a lot of things and certain things and um I got confirmation when I went to that special place that I used to go, that I usually go through, and it was just more so of um, the spirits telling me and the angels um, just encouraging me and just telling me, you no, know, and reminding me what I'm here for. And usually, when I'm reminded what I'm here for, then um, everything is usually all good within my head. So. Um, I began, I was thinking about some things that I want to do with my new book and when it comes to advertising and stuff, because I haven't really advertised it yet. I just, I just put an announcement on Facebook that it was here for anyone on Facebook who wants to get it, but I haven't really started to advertise it yet. So, um, I was thinking about some of those stuff and, um, think about a conversation that I had earlier with a friend who seemed like she kind of tried to throw shade and you know I just had to basically encourage myself and say you know what I'm not you know who everybody else thinks I am but then I was just thinking and you know I had got over there and everything was all good so um I was coming back to the room and getting ready to go to bed and I saw my old book and um, so I said, you know what? I want to read a poem to myself because my old book is a book of poetry. Look, this is it. And that was my old cover, my new cover. If you go to Amazon, you will see my new cover of this. I didn't really like it, but it's all I had at the time. But that's my old cover. I do have another book with my new cover on it. And it's not that far away from me, but I'm not going to get up and get it. So I was like, I'm going to read some poems that I wrote. <laughs> and I like to read poems that I wrote to encourage myself. But then I thought about it and I said, um, you know what, let me encourage other people too. So I prayed and... Um, I just asked Yahweh to be with me, and I was wondering which ones should I read, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to open up the book, and I'm going to pray that the most important thing that's for me and other people would um, stick out, you know, 
will reveal itself. So the number three came into my head, which means manifestation. So um, I kind of treated them like tarot cards. <laughs> and I've never really played the tarot cards before because, like, I don't really know how to do them. But I watch a whole lot of videos on them. So, like, I know how they do them, but I'll have no idea how I would do them. I haven't even looked into them yet. I can't wait, though. But I kind of, like, I kind of, like, um, move the pages around, like, one time, two times, and then three times. <laughs> so, that's what I did. And it landed on something very important. And it was on Chapter 5. Chris Lissy. And I'm just going to read to y'all what Chapter 5 Chrysalis says. It's the introduction to Chapter 5 Chrysalis. It says, okay, it says, Now it's time for the caterpillar to, and it's kind of dark in here, so I can read y'all, okay? It's dark in here. <laughs> now it's time for the, caterpillar, for the caterpillar to go into her chrysalis. This is the time where she starts to come into her own. She goes through some of the most hurt, embarrassment, and heartache that she's ever gone through before. Now that the caterpillar is more confident, she is now able to stand up for herself better than what she once did. Unfortunately, some of these traumatizing events left the caterpillar traumatized, scarred, and wounded. Will she ever recover? Is the chrysalis strong enough to hold all of that weight? What actually goes on inside of a chrysalis? Inside of a chrysalis, the caterpillar has to transform has to transform what was old into something new. It has to take a complete turnaround from something that was once ugly into something that will eventually be beautiful. Now that the caterpillar is inside of the chrysalis, she has to figure out she has to figure out some things and it's all starting to become clear to her. Certain things certain things that she has now figured out, she starts to tell people and the people did not accept what she had to say. This caused a lot of confusion for the caterpillar, but she didn't know that those situations were transforming her into a new and beautiful butterfly, which will eventually fly above all of, fly above and overcome anything that she has been through. They say what doesn't kill you make, makes you stronger. The caterpillar has not come out of her chrysalis yet. No, the caterpillar has not come out of her chrysalis yet. This is why this book is called The Diary of a So-Called Saved Woman Part 1 Metamorphosis. Because the second one is going to be called The Diary of a So-Called Saved Woman Part 2. Crystals and Roses. Not crystals. Crystals and Roses. Okay? <laughs> and... When I landed on that, I was like, wow, wow. Now, isn't that, w isn't that, that was what I was encouraged with um, a little while ago. I was encouraged that, you know, I had to be reminded of what I'm here for and what I came to do. Because for all of you out there, even though you might feel like an ugly caterpillar now, and, um, and what I mean by that is not um, outwardly and not inwardly ugly, but you just feel like you in like a, a crazy situation. Just remember you're going through that because you will eventually come out brand new and beautiful. You're going to get your wings and you're going to fly wherever you want to go. So you're going to be, you're in this chrysalis right now because you're cooking, you're baking, and you're getting ready for the wonderful journey that's ahead. See, 
baby, you about to get your wings though. So hold on, okay? The chrysalis is strong enough to hold you. It's not going to break, okay? You might be wondering, but it's not. It's not going to break. It's strong enough to hold you. Because when you get your wings, baby, when you get your wings, you're going to be able to go wherever you want to go. Sky is the limit, okay? Bye, y'all.